Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for this hour. I bless your name. I give you glory and honor. I thank you because I know that the battle is already won and we're fighting from the point of victory. We are claiming that which you have already purchased for us, that which you've already given to us. Freely you have given us, freely we receive. And therefore, even as your word declares that the kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force, we stand in our rightful place, and we decree and declare that every word that comes out of our mouth shall not come back void. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I fuse with your spirit in one mind, now, in the name of Jesus, let my soul be silenced. Every thought of the mind, every distraction be silenced. In the name of Jesus, I submit myself totally to the authority of Christ. And I decree and I declare that at this moment, I walk in the full manifestation and full power of your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The prayer we're about to pray will evacuate demonic deposits. Matthew 13 verse 15 declares, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tars amongst the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tars appeared. Many people experience hardship and near success syndrome after they go to bed and wake up the next morning. This is because while they slept, the enemy came and sold tars, demonic deposits into their lives, their destiny, their home, their day, their body, and their soul. Some people begin to experience the manifestation of these demonic deposits almost right away, while others go unnoticed. These demonic deposits could be done by giving the person demonic food in the dream, or uh, drinking dirty water in their, their dream state. Uh, they can also do this by having sexual intercourse with the person or injecting the person with, with, with a poison. And this obviously could manifest in their body as pain in the body. Um, they could also do this by speaking evil words over the person in their dream state. The manifestation of such deposits could come in the form of anger, rage, confusion, stagnation, aborted projects, bad habits, fear, doubt, pain in the body, depression, and many other manifestations that people experience. The strategy behind this is simple. The enemy does not want you to make any progress. So when he sees something good coming your way, be it a job, an interview, a marriage, a business proposal, a business breakthrough, he sends his agents to deposit something to hinder that from happening. Even these diseases we see in, in, in people where, where they're all swollen and bloated because of excess water, all of that is not of God and they need to be addressed forcefully. The word of God declares that every tree which my father has not planted shall be uprooted, according to Matthew fifteen thirteen. Thus, whatsoever these deposits are, whether these deposits have grown into trees or they have just been deposited, they must be evacuated today in the mighty name of Jesus. I'd like for you to pray with understanding and pray with a focused mind. Submit your faculties totally to his authority in the name of Jesus. And Father Lord, I give you praise for this deliverance. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. Before you start this prayer, I'd like for you to visit the link below or click on this video on the screen right now because you're going to need the three witnesses. And as you use your three witnesses, as you declare the word and have the three witnesses with you, uh, just go through the prayer and at the end of it, go ahead and drink the water and sprinkle it around. Forcefully take that which is rightfully yours in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father Lord, I give you praise, I give you honor, I give you glory. I thank you for your word. As I bring these witnesses, your word declares that by two or three witnesses shall a matter be established. I therefore introduce these three witnesses, your blood, your word, and your spirit. In the name of Jesus, this matter is already established. And as I bring them together, Redo Vezadevandegi. I thank you, Lord, for deliverance. 
I thank you, Lord, for deliverance. It is done. Mado bezali. Rida da 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 It is already done. It is already done. It is already done. In the name of Jesus. Yikalebo shada. Mark 16 verse 18 says, They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Therefore, every dirty demonic water that we, I, claim it, you use the pronoun I, I may have drunk or was given in my dream state, knowingly or knowingly, has no power over me. I reverse its effect and potency in the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus 14, 21 says, And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Therefore I stretched forth my hand over my stomach and over my body, and I command any illegal, unhealthy, unfruitful water in my body or in the stomach to dry up in the name of Jesus. Joel 12, 15 says, Behold, he withholded the waters, and they dry up. Also, he sended them out, and they overturned the earth. Exodus 30, verse 12. And I will make the rivers dry, said the Lord. Now, Father, withhold the waters and cause them to dry up. Send them out of my body. Send them out of my system. Send them out of my brain. Send them out of my stomach. Let the powers behind them be overturned. In the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 50 verse 38 says, A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. For it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Ye kade, kade, kade. Isaiah 44 27. You said, O Lord, to the deep, be dry, and the waters are dried up. Father, let the waters dry up. Let the waters dry up. The waters in our bodies, illegal water dry up out of our system in the name of Jesus Revelation 16 12 and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared by virtue of this deliverance my helpers begin to see the light of God in me. Let the path be made clear now in the name of Jesus. Let every stagnation, every success, near success syndrome be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. Luke 10 19. Nothing shall by any means hurt me. Therefore, every plan of the devil to fill my stomach, to fill my body with demonic food, and to hinder my light from shining, you are hereby destroyed in the name of Jesus. I render your plans worthless. It shall not stand. Every demonic food in the system given to me in dream state, even physically, that I may have eaten physically from the table of any fellowship that is not of God in the name of Jesus you are hereby terminated Father by your blood and by the three witnesses which I shall take into my system I break any demonic any demonic traps or injections that have been used by the devil and his cohorts to inject poison into my system. Everything injected into my system that is not of you, they are being evacuated even now in the name of Jesus. Evil spirits leave my life now in the name of Jesus. Your assignments are destroyed. Your plans are destroyed. Yikale tale tale Every evil word and curses released over my life in my dream state is hereby reverted. You're hereby reversed and canceled. It shall not stand. Whosoever shall rise up against me in judgment is hereby condemned. They shall speak the word indeed, but it shall not stand. It falls to the ground. And whoever shall gather against me is falling for my sake. Even now, in the name of Jesus. 
Oh, you spiritual spouses, you spirit husbands, you spirit wives, you married spirits, I call you by name. Isaiah 19, 15 says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. There is no work for you. You are rendered powerless. You are rendered impotent. Get told they die. Awake, awake. Put on strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Therefore every deposit put into our system through spiritual spouses, you are hereby evacuated. Hear the word of the Lord. Be evacuated. In the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 44.2 then said the Lord unto me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no man shall enter in by it, because the Lord, the God of Israel, had entered in by it. Therefore it shall be shut. Now I invoke the blood of Jesus to close any and every door that has been opened to the devil and his cohorts, and I sever any silver cords or ties between me and the devil. I sever you now. I sever you now. Be severed. The gates are shut against you. Every do door open to the devil, to the enemy, to any spouses that are not of God. In the name of Jesus, you are hereby rendered powerless. The gate is shut against you. I am married to God. Therefore, I cannot be joined with any spiritual spouses in any way, shape, or form. I am joined one spirit with God. I have been grafted into Christ and therefore I bear his fruit. Anything that is not of him is not permitted to manifest in me or through me. The fruits of the evil one are hereby destroyed and cast away from me. Any tree which my father has not planted is hereby uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I speak to every known and unknown deposit, debris, poison of the evil one. I command you to be gathered together in one place and be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God arrest and completely consume any power that shall gain entrance into my dreams. Father, expose the plans of the wicked one in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that my dreams and my visions are no trespass zone. I exercise authority over all devil in my dream state. In the name of Jesus, I command the effect of these deposits to be consumed by fire. Pray in the spirit and seal it. Let us be cleaned out. Be cleaned out. Be washed, Lord, by your blood. Let your blood speak. And by the three witnesses which we take into our system, even this hour, let every demonic deposit be completely flushed out. In the name of Jesus, for the bare record that we are completely free. We cannot be in captivity or bondage. We have nothing in common with the devil. And therefore we are completely free in our mind, in our soul. I speak to every soul wound. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. So to me gade bro Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. I give you honor. I thank you for your word. Your word is yea and amen. And I thank you because every word that I have spoken shall not come back void. It goes to do that which it is sent to do. I thank you, Lord, for the privilege. I thank you, Lord, for strength. I thank you for answered prayer. I know it is done. And I am grateful. I am grateful. And I show my appreciation, oh God. I said, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and drink the water or the what you have there. The three witnesses is water, communion, and anointing oil. So that's the word, the spirit, and the blood. First John 5, 8. Praise the Lord.